A big check is on the way from the federal government. I'll tell you what it will be used for coming up in the San Marcos Minute. I'm Christy Wyatt with your San Marcos Minute for the week of February 29th. Big news in this morning from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. They have released funds for disaster assistance. Now a big check going to the state of Texas, but San Marcos specifically and the city of Houston were singled out to get funds. San Marcos will be getting $25 million in disaster recovery funds um, through the CDG, CDBG program. Now we'll have more information about that coming up later. And there's more information on our website as well at sanmarcostx.gov. Just click on the news section. Also want to let you guys know about a traffic area that you may want to avoid for the next few days, actually several days. The Ocarina Springs area it will be narrowed to one lane in each direction uh, for the Loop 82 project. Now this is a big tech stop project and they anticipate that the lanes will be closed for at least 25 days. So if you normally travel in that area, you may want to take an alternate route. We have information on alternate routes on our website at sanmarcostx.gov. That's also under the news section. And then I want to let you know that starting tomorrow, tickets will be issued for people who are using their phones while they're driving. Now our hands-free ordinance went into effect in February, but February was a grace period where we were trying to educate the public and let everyone know the rules about hands-free. But starting March 1st, officers will be issuing citations for people who are breaking that law. You can find out more information on the hands-free ordinance. That's on our website at sanmarcostx.gov slash hands-free. And also rounding out the end of February, it's Children's Dental Health Month. Now we've been talking to you all month about how the city of San Marcos does not add fluoride to the water any longer. So we've been suggesting that parents make sure that their kids are brushing twice a day for two minutes a day. And also that you talk to your child's dentist or pediatrician about their dental needs and whether additional fluoride is needed. And you can find more information about that on our website as well. And we've also got tips and videos on our Facebook page um, for Children's Dental Health Month. Now the month is over, but that doesn't mean you should give up. So keep spreading the message about children's dental health and talking to your kids about uh, their oral hygiene habits. And also want to let you know that tomorrow night is a city council meeting. That's um, Tuesday night. We'll be in the city council chambers. Uh, lots on the agenda. So if you're interested in participating, um, speaking to the council, please sign up beforehand. And if you're not able to make the meeting, of course, you can always log, log on to our website at sanmarcostx.gov. You can also um, watch it on cable. We're on Time Warner and also on Grande Cable. And then also um, this week on Wednesday, we'll be having a budget workshop. So if you're interested in the budget process for the city, this is a great first step. Um, this will be our very first budget, budget priorities meeting of the year. Um, you can find out more about that on our website as well. Just click under the calendar. And then river cleanup is happening this weekend. So if you're interested in helping to keep our beautiful river clean and pristine for the coming generations, please be sure to sign up to volunteer for that event. You can find more information about that also on our website. Um, and we look forward to seeing you at that big event. And then finally, I want to share with you that Warrant Roundup uh, will begin this weekend. So if you have warrants that you haven't taken care of, old parking tickets, you want to be sure to check with Municipal Court and get that taken care of before Saturday so you don't risk the embarrassment of arrest. Um, again, there's more information about that on our website as well. Now, don't forget that we're always on Facebook. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. We want to have conversations with you. So please share your thoughts with us on any of our social media platforms. Until next time, we hope you have a great week.